promised Mukwanansi leaves Zimbabwe's constitutional court frustrated and disappointed. His case on whether President Robert Mugabe is still fit to rule despite his age was dismissed. But the activist says he is not giving up. We are going to reapply this thing within 30 days as prescribed by the rules of, of, the, of, of, the, of the constitutional law and, and relaunch this issue. We think that there is a very strong case to answer. There is overwhelming evidence. There are statements which the president made which are clearly not in the letter and the spirit of our constitution. Mugabe turns 93 this month. Some Zimbabweans blame him for the troubled economy, for corruption and high unemployment. Activists say this is not a setback. It's an opportunity to re-strategize and regroup. They say they've shown that it is possible to challenge President Mugabe, something many Zimbabweans are still afraid to do. Mugabe has ruled Zimbabwe since independence from white minority rule in 1980. His supporters point out that the 92-year-old has been democratically elected ever since. The president was overwhelmingly elected in 2013 by millions of Zimbabweans. And that mandate is a mandate that runs from 2013 to 2018. In other words, President Mugabe is within the subsistence of his uh, presidential term. And no amount of political grandstanding like we are seeing now is going to affect that. In fact, the people of Zimbabwe are looking forward to electing President Mugabe once again in 2018. Some analysts don't believe one-man protests work. We, we have uh, people who are brave in this country, but uh, I think uh, bravery should uh, be better directed to, 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 to efforts that bring more people together. Opposition parties say they'll form a coalition by June and choose one presidential candidate to challenge Mugabe in next year's election. But supporters of Africa's oldest leader say he isn't going anywhere. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.